my angels, welcome back to my channel. I get so many questions asking me how I style and do my straight hair that I have in a lot of my videos. So today I'm gonna show you just that. So if you'd like to see how I get my hair straight and also a mini hair care routine update, then please keep watching. I've recently been loving this John Frieda Brilliant Brunette Liquid Shine Shampoo and Conditioner. It is so amazing. And then once a week I use the Kerastase Age Recharge along with some coconut oil in my hair as a hair mask. Now I honestly don't know what I would do without my Tangle Teaser and this is a honest godsend and I use this to comb out my hair. I put it in two halves and it comb from the bottom ends up to the top of my hair. This helps prevent any unwanted like breakage in the hair Hair. and also the tangle teaser is really soft and gentle so you don't really have to worry about too much hair falling out either. To control any kind of crazy frizzy hair I love using the John Frieda Elixir hair oil in my hair and I kind of run this through the mid length and ends of my hair just to make sure that it's nice and frizz free. I tend to spend quite a lot of time making sure that the product's nicely in my hair and then I also like to run it along the kind of bits where I would generally get any kind of frizzy hair, so kind of near the front part and top parts of my head. Because my hair is so thick, I like to use the Bumble and Bumble Thickening Hairspray and I spray this onto my roots just so that it helps give my hair a little bit of lift and prevents it from looking too flat at my roots. Now onto the blow drying side. I use my GHD Air hair dryer and just start blow drying my hair. And I blow dry my hair in weird and random kind of angles, just making sure that it's all completely dry because my hair is so thick that I just have to really work at it and make sure that every little bit is dry. I also find that blow drying my hair with my tangle teaser like this helps my hair dry even faster. I don't tend to blow dry my hair all the time, but if I am going to be straightening it, then I do like to give it a quick blast. If you do have thick hair like me and you want a really powerful hair dryer, then this is absolutely fantastic. Like I've not tried a hair dryer as good as this before in my entire life and it really, really does speed up the whole process. And I do like to dry it in different angles and I also do like to flip my head upside down and dry it that way as well, just to help it give that extra lift at the roots. So once my hair is dry, it looks a little something like this. So now onto the straightening, and I use my Cloud9 straightener, and I do use them on the highest setting, and that again is just because my hair is so thick. Then I grab a hair clip like this, and first section off my hair from my ear all the way into a straight line, and then pin it all up like this. And I always part the sections in half and bring it to the front and then using my Tresme Heat Defense Smoothing Spray, I spray that onto all the sections that I'm going to be straightening just so that I know that my hair is all protected. And then I grab small sections and just start straightening my hair. I go over my hair about a couple of times depending on how straight I want it. And you can use a hand glove if you're not used to having or holding too much heat, but I seem to be okay with it. And yeah, I just go through all the sections and straighten them. And again, just doing the same on the other side as well. Taking small sections will really help with straightening thick hair because you know that you're getting every piece. Now, my trick is then to grab the middle section from the back, like here, and actually straightening that like you can see me doing here. And then I grab the two sections towards the side of that middle section that I took and straighten those, just so that I know that everything is gonna be straight from the back. Then my next section is taken from where my eyebrows end and again taking that along a straight line and grabbing all of the hair and gripping it up. And then I'm repeating the exact same thing that I did to the first section to this section. So spraying it, making sure all the hairs are nicely protected from the heat, and then grabbing small sections and just straightening away. I then also like to check my hair to make sure that I've not missed any pieces. And here 
I'm doing my little trick again, making sure that all the back pieces are nice and straight and that I've not missed anything out. So the last section that I'm going to be gripping up, I'm taking a long kind of rectangle shape and grabbing all of the hair and then pinning that up. I'm repeating those same steps to this last section of hair, exactly the same how we did it previously. Investing in a good pair of straighteners is so good for people with thick hair, so if you guys have any suggestions of other straighteners which are really good, then please leave a comment below to let everyone know. So this is what I do to the top section to make sure that every little piece is straight. I first make sure that it's all nicely protected with some heat protectant and I run my fingers through it just so that it's in all of the hairs. I'm making sure all the hairs towards the front. I grab a section from the back in a straight line and then simply straighten it all like you can see here. I take my time with this and go over it a couple of times just so that I know all the hairs are going to be nice and straight. And then I just repeat the same steps again. So I take small sections and just make sure that they're all nice and straight and then I flick them to the back so they don't get messed up with the unstraightened hairs. I then try and take small long sections near my hairline and make sure that they're nice and straight because I have loads of baby hairs in those areas so I like to make sure that they're all nicely tamed and not all going in funky directions. <laughs> you do want to be really careful doing this part because you don't want to burn your face. Last but not least, I like to use the Kerastase Elixir Ultimate with Imperial Tea, which is actually for coloured hair. Um, and I like to run this in the mid lengths and ends of my hair, just to make sure that it's nicely nourished and it's got that extra moisture that it needs after being straightened. And I also like to add it slightly on the top of my hair, just so that I don't have any kind of flyaways. And that is how I straighten my hair. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please let me know if you'd like to see more hair related videos on my channel. Leave this video a thumbs up or a comment below. And yes, I guess I will see you guys all in my next video. Bye.